Hey guys, my name is Rudy, and today we're going to work on uh, maintenance of Brava Mopping Robot M6. This is a great little product. It's freaking awesome. But um, I do have some issues with the start button here, uh, kind of sticking. So we're going to go over some real quick maintenance. I got this down, uh, sped up the video to make it this a very quick video. And what we're going to do is uh, just some easy steps. I'll point out some other things that you can do to fix your robot as you go. Okay, first thing you want to do, open the top, remove the tank. Uh, if you don't remove the filter, you're going to get this thing banging around over here. So that's the uh, filter. And mine really needs a really good cleaning, which we'll do after. Um, I removed some of the screws ahead of time, so you kind of go through this as we go. So first thing I want to show you guys, obviously... Let's eject the pad. Okay, to do this, you're going to need a screwdriver and a good flashlight. There are lots of screws on this item here. I mean, this thing is full of stuff. So, first thing we want to talk about is if you're doing what I'm doing, which is the button repair, the, the uh, cleaning button, you're going to be taking out every one of these screws along the side over here that takes the front plate off and everything back here. But step one for any maintenance of this stuff is taking out the battery. So a little bit of a turn and the battery should drop right out. I got myself a little dish here keep all my screws there's a lot of screws okay first thing I want to talk about is should the uh, holder for the for the scrubbing pad actually fail or get cracked it's actually pretty easy to replace you remove the screw here and the one two three and four over here and this item oops you actually have to remove the screws. This item pops right out. I like working on a tile floor. That way, these little screws don't go missing. Okay, so that's this piece. Then, when you uh, do the ones on the side here, that takes out the front plate. Now, the reason I said for the flashlight is so these screws are hanging on. Some of them are still in here. If you do want to change out the wheels, that's actually pretty easy to do as well. The wheels on the side here have a tiny little screws over here. You just pop those out and do another one on the other side and you can replace the wheels pretty easily. Okay, so I already did all the hard work. Just hang on top again. And if everything comes out, you shouldn't be prying anything. If it's not coming out, it's stuck. You probably missed the screw. So, that'd be this part here. And this is the part we're going to be working with. Inside here, if you're curious, it's actually pretty cool. Everything's watertight. It's a very neat little design. And like I said, I had really... No problems. I mean, I own an entire fleet of these since I live out here and I'm, we don't have carpets down here. It's all bare floors. So to get to the switches, those are right here. So there's four screws holding this in and they're also silver, which makes them a little bit different from the others. Makes it a little easier. So the ones on the bottom are small and short. in here you guys can see as well as we can work on this there we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew the bottoms and then the top be really careful with this assembly because this thing does come apart and every one of the little four buttons will go flying and a little springs attached to them 
Once you get this loose, I'm trying to prevent just that to keep the screws from flying. Okay, here we go. So, <clears throat> that comes the fun part. You want to hold on to this and drop the screws. One, two, I got two still in here. There's the two more. Flip the item over. Very carefully drop the bottom. And there's a wiring harness in here that you want to be careful with not to mess up. But the reason mine didn't work, uh, there's these little shafts in here. So if you pop each one of these out, I'm going to keep in mind where I place them. You can see, I don't know if you can see the end of the video here, there are tiny little springs. Now my problem with this one was the spring that just shot out. These are weak little springs. I don't think you can even see them on the camera. But you can give it a mild stretch. Place them back in the hole. Actually, it's a little bit easier to put them in the button itself. So you put them back in the button on top a little bit. These two are broken out, so I think they're okay. I'm just going to give them a mild tug. I'm going to, if this happens again, I'm going to probably, uh, just get a little stronger springs. Now the fun part, these things are lined up where they're only fit one way. You can't put this thing in here backwards, at least. Not without some pretty awesome dedication. There's a little line right here. That goes off the side here. And the same thing with this one here. I'll slide that in. And the big one, the one that I had problems with. So what this is, it presses this little button right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right here. This is a little micro switch. So again, the little round piece down. Make sure you're getting some little bit of a little bit of an action there on your all your buttons. And now comes the fun part. Very carefully without pulling on your wires. Line it up the way you the way it should fit. Take the lid, put it over the top of it. That's actually pretty impressive. Sits in. You can test them again. Push, push, push. Okay. Then again, short pieces go in front. So, wondering how many of you guys actually have a Bravo Jet or one of the iRobot machines? I've had mine for a long time, and it's actually been really good. I hadn't had any problems with them. And it looks like it's pretty easy to maintain. Okay, so we screw this other part in. And now it's pretty, pretty much the reverse. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. So you want to make sure you don't pinch the wires in here. Make sure they're nice, easy flowing. Take the bottom. Tuck it in. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't mean push harder. <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, then you put the cover on. Uh, underneath, you're going to mount this, just the same way you found it. Uh, it's got the arrow. You really can't put this on wrong. And uh, plug in your battery, put in your pad, and you should be good to go. Let me know if this works for you guys. Let me know if there's any other issues that you had this Bravo Jet. Or let me know how well it's working for your for you guys. Anyway, that's it for now. As always, this is the Reedy Channel, where we uh, work on fixing common things. Take care.